Hello and welcome back to my channel e Maths. and today I have the part 2 of square and square roots where I am going to tell you how to find square roots of a single digit number and a decimal number up to 2 decimal places for this one and up to 3 decimal places for this one. So basically what do we do when we are finding a square root? We make pairs but here if you see we have a single digit number and now we cannot find the square root until we make some pairs so that we can move ahead with it. So to do that I will write this down in the long division method. I have written this too. Now I am going to put a decimal point here and I am going to make 3 pairs of decimal places. As you can see to make 3 pairs of decimal places I have taken 6 0 so that I have 3 decimal places and now I can find the square root of this particular number. Now see how I am going to do it. So here is 2 I need to take such a number which when multiplied by itself gives a 2 or a number less than 2. So we don't have any such number that multiplied by itself gives us a 2. So what am I going to, do, going to do here is, I'll take a 1 here, 1 here, 1 here and of course we need to add also. This gives me a 2, here we subtract so I'm getting a 1 here. Now to bring this decimal, to bring this pair of zeros down, I have to cross this decimal. So I'm going to put a decimal point here because now only decimal part is left to be solved. I can put a decimal like this also or how I can put it that I will tell you after solving this question. So now I need to take a number over here at one's place which when multiplied by the same number which I will be taking up here gives me a hundred or a number lesser than it. So if I take a zero here, the so twenty zeros are zero. One if I take it will be twenty one, ones are twenty one. 2 if I take it will become 22, so 22 when multiplied by 2, 2 is 44, 23 3's are 69, so I will take 24 4's are is 96, now subtract the way we do it, now bring down the second pair and here you will add a 4, so this gives you an, an 8, here you get a 2. Now, here I need to take again, at, if at every step I have to predict a number at one's place. Alright, that only will be decide, that only will decide our quotient over here. So here it is 2, 8, one's place is still to be guessed. So if I take a 1 here, a 0 if I take it will give me a 0 which I don't want because 400 is a good number. So if I take a 0 here, it will give a 0. So if I take a 1 here, it will be 2, 81 because if I am going to take a 2 over here it will be more than 400 which is of course not possible to take. So I will take this only 10 minus 1 is 9, 1, 1. Bring down the last pair and add up this 1 over here. So this gives me a 2, 8 and a 2. Now. I need to take such a number which when multiplied like here ones place we need such a number which when multiplied by the by the ones place number to give this or a number lesser than this. So I can take uh, 4 here which when multiplied by this will give us a 6, 9. this. So I am getting this 1.414 it is of course never ending because we know that we don't have 2 is not a perfect square number anyhow. So I will get a dec decimal numbers for this and I have already written I want my answer up to 2 decimal places. So 2 decimal places means nearest hundredth. So 1 4 you will see this hundredth place and the number next to it it is 14. So that means your answer will be one point. Four, one. Because this number will decide whether this will remain the same or one will be added to it. 
so that will happen if this is more than 5 or equals to 5 we'll add a 1 to it if it is not then we just write the number as it is i hope this much part is clear to you now again i would like to focus on this i took two point and then zeros because if i'll take two zero 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 then it will change the value only here if i am taking zeros after the decimal point this two is still the same it's just because we need some decimal places that's why we have to take up these zeros so that we get our answers in decimal places and two decimal places will be of course this and i was telling you that you can put decimals afterwards also like you can just count the number of decimal places pairs formed by decimal places if here we have three pairs of decimals formed that means we will have three decimals in the answer as well so we have solved this question now moving on to the next question here i have a decimal number and that is 0.4 so that means I already have one digit after decimals but since I want my answer up to three decimal places so you need to check that your question is asking up to two decimal places up to three decimal places if it is up to two decimal places you have to take three pairs of decimal places if it says up to three decimal places that means you have to take four pairs of decimals of after the of course after decimal it will come so this becomes one pair two pair three and the fourth one you need to take one extra pair to get your answers up to required number of decimal places so i've taken four pairs of decimals c1 2 3 and 4. right now you can see that we our number is only starting from the decimals so i'll take a zero here and put a decimal here and the so here in this number i need to think of such a number which gives me a 40 when multiplied by itself or a number lesser than it so we know that 6 6 are 36 and 7 7 are 49 i cannot take 7 because it is giving me a larger number so i can take a 6 here put a 6 here 6 6 are 36 i'm going to get a 4 here bring down this pair add up this 6 don't forget to add the numbers on the lhs otherwise you'll not be able to continue with your solution now I need to take a number over here which when multiplied by the ones place gives me a 400 or a number lesser than it. If I take a 1 it will be 121 only. If I take a 2 it will be around 244. So if I take a 3 it will be let's take a 3 over here. I am getting a 369. This I can of course solve. bring down another pair this becomes 3100 here don't forget to add up a 3 this gives me a 6 2 1 now i need to take again a ones place over here which when multiplied by itself gives me this number so one if i take it will be too small i can take a 2 over here so write a 2 over here and the multiple of those these two will come here And then the last pair will come here, 576, double zero, and add this 2 here, 4, 6, 2, 1. 1, 2, 6, 4, when multiplied by a, a 1 will give the same 1, 2, 6, 4, 1 only. I can take a bigger number because here it is 57,600. So I am going to take a 4 over here, which will give me 5. 0, 5, 7, 6. So only this much I need to solve for this question because I need my answer up to 3 decimal places and here you can see that we have already got 4 decimal places which I can easily make it out now. So we need the thousandth, nearest thousandth as the answer. So you need to look at the thousandth place and the number next to it which will decide that what is going to be the answer for this so here is 4 which is again smaller than 5 that means we don't have to add a 1 over here the answer will be 0 0.632 again I repeat if the number is more than 5 or equals to 5 you add up a number to the num to the place that you want to round it off here you wa want to round off the thousandth place and the number next to it is smaller than 5 so we can keep the number same
I hope you have understood these videos. Please keep watching my channel. Do subscribe it. Do share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Have a good day.